station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground and Happy New Year. I'm Leah Cheshire. This week, a cargo spacecraft departed the orbiting laboratory while another prepares to do the same. On Wednesday, January 6th, North of Grumman's Cygnus resupply spacecraft departed after more than three months on board. This 14th resupply mission from the company launched on October 2nd, 2020, arriving at the station October 5th and delivering nearly 8,000 pounds of crew supplies, hardware, research experiments, and more. After unloading the precious cargo, astronauts filled Cygnus with trash to burn up with the vehicle upon its fiery re-entry into Earth's atmosphere after completing its secondary mission in orbit over the next several weeks. SpaceX's Cargo Dragon will be the next departure from the space station scheduled to undock for a splashdown in the Atlantic Ocean on January 11th. You can watch undocking on the agency's website. While I personally can't keep a cactus alive, crew members are proving yet again that they can grow plants in space. Future long-duration missions to the Moon or Mars will require astronauts to grow their own food, a capability being tested aboard the International Space Station with the Veggie Experiment. This week, astronauts installed the root mat and small plant pillows needed to begin growing extra dwarf bok choy, amara mustard, and red romaine lettuce as part of the Veg 3 investigation. As the plants grow, crew members will take photos for ground analysis on plant growth rates and health. These plants will be harvested on orbit and samples will be returned to Earth for testing. Results from this experiment could also benefit agricultural and biomass production efforts on Earth by contributing to basic research on plant cultivation. That'll do it for us this week on Space to Ground. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next week. Subscribe for more space.